What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create this fence, or a garden wall, uh, I guess you can say. Uh, so it's a combination of brick and uh, cast iron, uh, so it's just going to be kind of an, an interesting uh, complex uh, family that we're going to be creating. Actually it's a set of families uh, that come together as part of the railing system family, so it's going to be fully parametric so you can uh, set it up. Uh, uh, make sure uh, the, the size is correct and then you can use it and reuse it on uh, future projects. So that's the whole idea behind uh, this tutorial. Uh, now before we get started uh, with Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link be linking it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. Uh, there you can find all of my Revit courses. I have over 136 hours of content and I'm adding more each month. There are many courses uh, on many topics. For example, one of the courses is, uh, well, exactly on stairs and railing. And uh, we can go in depth into these two very complex system families and we can explain how everything works. So uh, if you're interested in that, you can check it out. And also there you can find uh, some of my customized Revit templates. You can find uh, some really high quality Revit families as well as a plugin. So check it out if you're interested. Interesting. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And uh, first, I just want to show you my personal approach. Uh, so what I like to do first is I like to create a little sketch. So here I have kind of sketched it out, uh, just the, the the fence, and then just to get a kind of more accurate dimensions, I like to sketch it out uh, in Revit, uh, actually. So what I like to do is go here to the view menu, and then you want to go here to drafting view, so that opens up a, a drafting view, which is basically uh, a view for, well, drafting. So it's, uh, it's just like AutoCAD, just a, a little more simple and it's inside of Revit, so that's useful. So you just start like a drafting view like this and then you can just use annotation lines to uh, start kind of creating that uh, that garden wall. So that's basically how this works. Uh, now in this particular case, I've actually done this step already. So if I open up drafting views here, you can see I have this one. So this is basically what I've sketched up uh, before I tested this out. So I start off with a sketch like this. The reason for that is because then I can go to the measure tool and then I can just gonna get accurate measurements of all of the elements here. So this is what we're creating. We're going to have these posts. So this is just a a brick uh, kind of column, I guess you can say, or post. It's 40 by 40 centimeters. Then we have a small wall here, a 40 centimeter high wall on the bottom. Uh, again, a brick wall. And then here we have the cast iron uh, fence and it's going to have like this arc shape thing. So that's that's the idea. Okay, so to get us started, uh, first we need to create all of the families that go into this. So it's all going to come together as a, uh, as just as a railing family, but we do need to get started with two separate families. So first we need to create a post family, so that's this thing over here, and then we have to create a panel family, so that's what goes in between posts, which is going to be all of this in the middle. So that's what we're doing. So just this is going to be the you know, the whole uh, the whole panel, and the posts are just this and the other one, but we only need one. Okay, so to get us started, just go here to File, uh, then go to New, go to Family, and then here you want to find Metric Baluster Post. So this is basically the one that you want to go for. Hit Open. It's going to open up like this. And then you want to set the height. So uh, the height here, I can just select this and then, let's see, can you just move it up? Yeah, I can. Okay, we have a constraint here. Okay, or we can just go here to the family types and I think I should be able to just type it out here. Yeah, so 1400 apply. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And then I'm just going to bring this up at, I don't know, like 120 or something. Okay, anyways, now uh, let's go here to the bottom. So I'm just going to find the reference level. Uh, I'm going to zoom in. So this is like a uh, floor plan, uh, go to create, go to extrusion, and then just create like a simple uh, rectangle here. Uh, so once you have this rectangle, okay, better turn on the 10 lines. So once you have the rectangle, you just want to come in here and set this to 20. So then this in total should be 40. And then here, 
20 again and then finally here 40 in total okay so we have the post we can hit finish and then we can go back to front or no left okay okay here we have a problem oh I've messed up so <laughs> let's go back uh, edit yeah instead of 40 uh, or 20 this should be 200 yeah this makes a bit more sense so this should be 400 eh, it looked too easy 200 and then 400 okay this one makes way more sense yeah okay hit finish uh, left I think yeah there we go perfect and then just go up and then you can lock it to this here you can lock this one down if you want perfect okay uh, now it's time to build out the top of this thing so for that you can go here to create uh, extrusion uh, and then let's pick a plane I think we can just pick out this is the left right uh, left view so you can just go here to left right reference plane the center one click OK so it's going to just go like that there we go and then let's go I don't know like uh, let's go 40 yeah let's go 40 go up by I don't know let's yeah let's go with 60 or maybe 80 yeah I'm just trying to make it look nice uh, and then we can go up to here perhaps something like this would look nice uh, okay so you just want to select this now you want to mirror it to the other side so you can just go mm for mirror and then we can connect these two perfect hit finish that's perfect uh, then you want to go to the front elevation let's see okay there it is we have to zoom in okay so it looks like this at the moment so you just want to kind of extend it uh, now here I have no idea the dist about the distances so perhaps I can just measure this out yeah so this is at 50 this is 54 so actually I want this thing to be at 60 so can I just move it Okay, to be a bit more precise, because I don't like eyeballing it like this, uh, what we can do is just create a reference plane. Just a couple of reference planes, like so. And then you can go and just add a dimension. Like this, and then you can just set this one to 260. Perfect. And set this one to 260. Okay, we can delete this. And yeah, now we can just let's see it's a little bit difficult to set up okay perfect here is okay this can be a little bit annoying okay there we go uh, and then let's open up the 3d view and then let's complete this so it looks currently like this uh, now we just or no that was supposed to be 40 I think now that I look at it yeah okay so made a mistake there as well so let's go here to front so this should be 240 so you just want to double check everything as you can see we all make mistakes okay and then just reattach this here and this here perfect okay uh, now we can go back to the 3d view uh, and then what you want to do now is just come in here with a void form void extrusion you want to go to set work plane and then go to pick a plane click OK and then pick out this plane here so once you do that then you can just go with pick line click this line this line and the top one and then you can just go from here to the center or to the midpoint so just from there to the midpoint and from here to the midpoint and then finally you want to drag this up and just make it like this so it's kind of a, like a rectangle with a little thing here and then when you hit finish you can just extend it to the other side like that and now it's cutting it and now we have that perfect shape that we wanted uh, so for this upper shape uh, I want to set the material to something uh, white so I'm just going to type in gypsum uh, wall board okay click apply okay uh, and then for the uh, bottom one uh, I want to set the material to be uh, just brick so let's use common brick click apply okay and perfect so we have our baluster uh, or we have our post so now you just want to save this family and I'm just going to save it here let's call it the garden 
wall post or yeah post save okay so once we have this first uh, family done uh, let's close this up there we go uh, and then let's create a new one so we now want to create so we have this thing and now we want to create the panel itself so for that what you want to do is go here to file you want to go to new family and then go to metric baluster panel uh, open that up and then it's going to be a family that looks like this now we are going to be messing it up a little bit <laughs> and here uh, for the width uh, I actually want to go with 180 for this particular thing okay uh, 1800 apply okay perfect so this is what I want to see something like that there we go perfect uh, then uh, I want to add a couple of more reference planes just to make it easier for me so let's add a horizontal one here at 400 that's going to be basically uh, marking out this point uh, then this is going to be uh, 60 centimeters above that and then this one is going to be something like 706 uh, millimeters or 71 centimeters above uh, that one uh, and then the distance between here and there is 60 okay so we have all of that info uh, now we can come back here and let's build out the the bottom portion first so you want to switch to the front elevation view zoom in so this is basically the top so what you want to do here is go to create extrusion uh, pick a plane or let's go here to because this is a front elevation then you go here to front back center plane okay uh, and then it's going to look something like this so something like that I guess so the thick uh, so the distance here from the center should be 120 and then this can be just additional 60 millimeters that's perfectly fine and then this height should be perhaps 120 as well okay uh, and then we can kind of uh, connect it up to here add a line on the bottom and then select the whole thing so this part go to mirror mm is the shortcut and then we can just kind of attach this here perfect now you want to make a cross selection like this and bring this down just a little bit like five millimeters will do same thing goes on the other side that's perfect and then finally go here to the material and let's just uh, just assign that brick uh, material as well so that's that's what we want to use okay apply okay perfect and now we can just hit finish uh, go to the left there we go and just extend it here it can lock in place this isn't going to be too parametric so I'm not really going to be making this parametric just because of that arc just would make it a bit too complicated uh, okay so I think these things I can hide I guess because I don't need it uh, yeah so let's just hide all of these elements perfect just makes it a little bit less crowded uh, anyways, uh, now the next step is going to be to go to create, add a few more reference lines. So I want one here, just 60 millimeters above this thing, like so, and then another one that's 706 millimeters above that one. So that's 706. So basically I'm just using the dimensions that they have from here. Uh, okay, so uh, having done all of this, <laughs> let's now go back here, uh, and now it's time to build all of the just the, the this thing. So let's go back to the front elevation, make a new extrusion. So it's just going to be extrusion again, uh, front back, and then you want to go to the circle and make a circle here at the bottom. Just uh, well, let's go with a ten millimeter diameter circle and on the top as well hit finish go back to left okay and then extend those as well to the kind of uh, these parts here okay uh, the next step is just going to be that arc uh, so that's going to be a little bit more complicated so what we want to do is again go to reference lines and then create a, a couple like so So for these, you, you want to have them at 60 millimeters, so 60, 
there, 60 here. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, and then let's just measure out here at the drafting view. So you're going to be doing a lot of measuring. So for example, uh, see here, this is at 99.9. .9, so that's like 10 centimeters. So you can just come back here and then I can say, okay, create reference line 10 centimeters above this or 100 millimeters. Okay. And then also let's go back to create oops, back here. And then you want to measure again from here and then go up. So that's 133 millimeters. So you want to go again with the reference plane and measure 133. Okay, so once we have all of this in check, then I can go to annotate, just a symbolic line, uh, pick a plane, so this is a left elevation, so left, right, and just create an arc that goes like that. And now I can finally start building this thing. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, making this as a revolve, so you just go to revolve, you add the axis line here, just like so. So this is the axis line. Uh, then you want to go to just a simple line and then go from here. So out by five millimeters, go all the way up. Kind of stop just a little bit shy of the top. Create here a little ball on top. So let's do a 15 or hmm, we can do a 20 millimeter one. And then you just want to select it and move it down. So you want to have it like that perhaps even a little bit more down. Okay, something like this. Okay, so just like that. Uh, then go to split element, SL is the shortcut. You wanna split it like so, delete this part. And then finally, you just wanna have a line going all the way down, connecting it here, completing that profile. And then you can just fix this by using trim and extend to corner. So just like this. Okay, so once we have this created, just go finish and there we go, we have one of these. Uh, then you wanna copy it. So you just wanna go here to copy, uh, I think it's 120 millimeters. So I, I like to extend this and then just do that, like 120, 120 a few times. And then you can just select these, go to copy, copy from here to there, and there we go. Okay, so once we have this in place, we can delete this one. And then you just wanna edit each one of these. So just go to edit revolve, select this, zoom out, and then when you use the arrow keys, it's going to move up really quickly. And then you can just kind of notch it there in place. So I'm just using the arrow keys for this. Select this one, edit revolve, select it. Now you can move it. I think that will work as well, but see how it can, can mess it up. Uh, additionally, I think you can just use the move tool. That's probably the best solution. Let's see. Yeah, okay, let's use the move tool, but bring it a little bit down. Perfect. And then for this one, edit, move. Okay. This one, edit, move. So it's just a little bit of back and forth. Edit, revolve. Move it up, move it down. And we have just a couple more. So I know it's a little bit of a tedious process, but that's okay. At least in the end, uh, we are going to have a really interesting family. Now you can make this a bit more parametric. It's just going to take way more work. And this tutorial is probably going to be over 25 minutes so far. So if you wanna make it parametric, you're looking at at least an hour invested. <laughs> so anyways, let's select these, hold the control key, select this as well. Uh, go to mirror and mirror it around. That's perfect. Go to the 3D view, oops, not that 3D view, this one here. And this is what we have. So this already looks really good. So I like the way that this turned out. Uh, now you do want to join these. So just go to join geometry, make sure multiple join is selected. So you select this and then, oops, select, and then you should be able to join all of these together. See how it looks like this, but when we join them, it looks much better. Just wanna join the, oops, join the, the rest of these to that single piece of geometry. And then if you want, you can assign a material to that. 
So for this, I don't know, like iron. Do we have something like the cast iron? Okay, perfect. Apply. Okay, there we go. So now we have that mid part uh, completed. So once we have this done, let's save this family again. So I'm just going to call this one the garden wall panel. Okay, save the family. Um, let's see. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, just going to get rid of this. I think I can close it. This one as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, and now let's build this actual garden wall. So you want to go to, I don't know, like a level one floor plan, or we can even do this in the 3D view. So let's start the 3D view. Okay. So you want to go to architecture, you want to go to railing, and then let's use one of the basic ones, like this one, and just create uh, uh, some railing. Okay, so this is it. Hit finish. There we go. Then you want to select this, you want to go to edit type and then you wanna duplicate this one. So it might not look like this, it's probably going to look like this. And uh, you just go here and click on preview so it just shows you that railing and you can even go to 3D view and then you can kind of look at the railing you're creating. So I'm just going to duplicate this type and call it uh, garden wall. Click OK, OK. So now we have two of these. Uh, now before we continue, we have to load in the families that we have created. Uh, so for that, I have them here opened up on my second screen. So I'm just dragging them over and loading them in. So once you have those loaded in, now if I select this railing, so that's the garden wall, the new one, I can go into edit type and the first thing that I want to do is get rid of the top rail. Now because of these vertical uh, balusters, we're connected to the top rail. When I hit apply, it's just going to delete everything. So that's just something to, to keep in mind. Uh, then we want to go to balance replacement. And then this is where the <laughs> this is where the magic happens. So for the first one, uh, let's use the uh, the post first. So it should be able available here. Now this is the panel. So I want the post, uh, the base and top should be at host, uh, the base offset should be zero and the top offset should be 1400. Uh, the distance from previous should be kind of half the length, which is 110, so 1100 uh, millimeters or 110 centimeters. So we have that. Uh, then I'm just going to click here, duplicate and then place a panel here. So just a panel. Uh, the top offset, I'm not sure about this one, so I'm just going to put it at 1000 and then we'll go from there. Uh, the distance from previous, it's the same one, uh, and yeah, the settings are all the same. Uh, then you want to go down uh, and here, uh, for the bottom one, you or the end post, I like to leave that one as none, uh, just because it can give you issues, especially when you're building like a more difficult uh, family like this. Uh, now for these, uh, let's go with the uh, the post on both of them. So post, post, uh, base offset zero. This is again 1400, uh, 1400. Uh, the space, uh, this should be 200. So that's basically half of that column. Uh, and this is minus 200, again, half of that column. And then offset, there shouldn't be an offset. So I think we have everything done. Now to double check it, you just click OK and it's going to build it here. And if you ask me, it has done it perfectly. Uh, now you probably can adjust it just a little bit. I'm not sure, let's see. So if I set this to 1100 and apply, it might be a little bit taller. I don't know, or it isn't moving really. Okay, anyways, I think this looks perfect, if you ask me. <laughs> so anyways, uh, let's hit apply, click OK, and now if we place that railing, uh, you can see it deleted the railing when we've gotten rid of that, um, that top rail. So anyways, now if I place it, hit finish, oops, this is the wrong one, I want my garden wall, it's going to look like this. And we have our garden wall and it looks, well, I, I think it looks really, really good. So that's basically how you build this family. If you turn on the shadows, it's going to look even better. And if you go to graphic display options and turn on ambient shadows, it's going to look freaking amazing. Yeah.
So there we go. I think that I think this is really good. I don't know. Uh, so tell me, please, in the comment section below, do you like this? Do you want to use this? I think it's really cool. Uh, I, I really like this option. Then you can just edit that, make it longer, do whatever you want. So it's just going to have more elements. And there we go. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me if you have a different approach, perhaps a bit more parametric. This is obviously limiting uh, in uh, a lot of factors, but I think uh, for uh, like a a 20 minute workflow i think it's really really good so anyways uh, that's it for this video if you want to get this project file you can find it on my patreon page so i'm going to be linking that up in the description of this video below and then also up in the cards above Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.